Before I get into this video, I want to take a moment of silence to recognize the late, great Kobe Bryant and his daughter, Gianna. Hey, it's Marie. Thanks for looking at me where I give you thoughts and opinions and spill the real tea. Ooh. Welcome back to my channel, Subbies. You already know I'm bringing you to my title of this video. Everybody has been talking about this Gail King um, interview. So, without further ado, if you guys find tea you don't want to spill, as your girl on IG, so I can keep it real. I'm not gonna keep talking, let's get into this reaction. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. The news anchor and Oprah Winfrey's BFF, Gail King, recently got heavily criticized for her insensitive remarks about the late, great Kobe Bryant. Gail conducted an interview with former WNBA player, Lisa Leslie, and they discussed the life and legacy of Kobe Bryant. But during that interview, Gail King decided to bring up Kobe's sexual assault case that was dismissed back in 2004. What? Now, her bringing up the case was not the only... Okay. Um, if you're doing an interview with one of his close, close friends, why would you bring up his rape case or assault case? Why would you, why would you bring up any negativity about this man who has left such a great legacy. Um, I don't know, that's already rubbing me the wrong way because it's like, this man already lost a lot. Like, honestly, he's lost a lot. His family has lost a lot. And his, his wife has to bury her child. She's to bury her husband. It's already enough going on in the world and you're about to bring out some negativity for what? Y'all, I'm not gonna, let's keep watching. Issue. It was how she asked the questions, which infuriated a lot of people. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. Is it complicated for you as a woman, as a WNBA player? It's not complicated for me at all. Even if there's a few times that we've been at a club at the same time, Kobe's not the kind of guy, never been like, you know, Lisa, go get that girl or tell her or send her this. Mm -hmm. I have other NBA friends that are like that. Mm -hmm. Kobe's, he, he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be, do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. I, that's just not the person that I know. But Lisa, you wouldn't see it though. As his friend, you wouldn't see it, and that's possible. Mm -hmm. I just, it's just, I just don't, I just don't believe that. Mm -hmm. I just don't believe that things didn't happen with force. Is it even a fair question to talk about it, considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved, or is it really part of his history? I think that the media should be more respectful. Um, at this time, it, it's like if you had questions about it, you've had many years to ask him that. I don't think it's something that we should keep hanging over his legacy. I mean, he went to, it went to trial. Yeah, but the case, is, it was dismissed because the victim in the case refused to testify. So it was dismissed. And I think that that's how we should leave it. Now, when I watched this interview, I was completely disgusted. I was disgusted Aye. Aye. with CBS This Morning for using that controversial clip to promote Gail King's interview. And wow. I was also disgusted with Gail because it's for clear that she was it. trying to diminish Kobe's legacy and spin a narrative that would paint him in a bad, in a light. bad light. And it's no yeah. coincidence that she specifically sought out Lisa Leslie to ask those questions to. She thought because she was a woman that she would fall into that trap that she was trying she to set up. But mm -hmm. Lisa was not going for it and it's really sad that Gail would even choose to bring up Kobe's case in this interview especially in this time since we're talking about it for I totally agree with um expressive like the timing of this was terrible and Lisa handled this with so much poise and respect and just she did this so effortless like she she told her to leave it alone I leave it alone because he has been around doing big things in our 
um community and doing stuff very positive and now that the man is passed away you want to bring up old dirt for what like what are you gaining from this and even if your network told you to ask the questions you're leading the interview you didn't have to ask that question and for you to say is it even worth talking about why are we talking about it it's nothing to talk about the case is dismissed it was it he it is done like leave it alone like leave it alone like leave it alone that just doesn't make any sense to me why you would even bring that to light. Like, people have these big platforms and don't know what to do with them. Certain stuff you need to leave alone. His family and everybody involved or that loved him dearly is already going through enough. Why would you kick them while they're down? That's real disgusting. Like, and for you to be a black woman knowing how hard it already is to be a black man. And not only was Kobe a black man, but he was a successful, proactive black man. And this is what you want to talk about? Come on now. We can do better than that. Seriously. Those of you who don't know the backstory, back in 2003, Kobe had what he considered to be consensual sex with a woman. And this woman turned around and accused him of sexual assault. But the woman decided not to testify because she had a medical examination and the DNA evidence suggested that she had sex with somebody else 15 hours after the alleged rape. So that evidence did make her claims look a little shifty. Kobe pled not guilty. The woman decided not to testify and the case was dropped. Years have gone by since this happened and hardly anybody brought it up during the last years of his life. But as soon it. as he died, people like Gil want to bring it back up. For what? What other reason do you have to bring it up other than to tarnish this man's legacy? He and his daughter Gianna just passed away in a tragic way. They're not even buried yet. Kobe's family, his poor wife and children are still mourning. And to bring this up is tactless, disgusting, and downright yes. despicable. Gail is trifling. And you know what? So is Oprah. She's trifling too. They like to pick and choose who to target. And they specifically target black men. Nobody else, just black men. But they don't target other men like their good friend Harvey Weinstein. In fact, um, I was just about to mention that, like, I've heard a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of stuff about this dude that they're always constantly working with, taking pictures with, interacting with, but yet nobody's doing an interview with him. And I think somebody called Gail out on Twitter and asked her why won't she interview him about all the stuff that he's been accused of and, and acquitted for and things like that and she disregarded the whole message like disregarded the whole message i'll find it and try to insert it here however expressive i totally agree with you this is trifling like there's no better word for that trifling like and just disturbing honestly why haven't they talked about him yet why is it when somebody told gail to interview harvey she completely ignored the comment. I saw this on Twitter yep. yesterday, which was very telling to me. A Twitter user named Barry Bond said, Gail, you should be ashamed of yourself for bringing that question up. It be our people to take us down. Now, Gail, go interview Harvey Weinstein. Let me see that interview. Gail responded and said, hey, Barry, your tweet was sent to me first. Not a shame. <laughs> it's a fair Gail question. Voice. Second, I wanted to make sure people saw Lisa's answer. She said what many are thinking. I'm glad you weighed in. Now notice, <laughs> notice she overlooked she that comment about that. Harvey. Harvey is currently yes, on is. trial for sexually assaulting, harassing, and raping multiple women. But you don't wow. hear Gail conducting interviews with his accusers or associates like Oprah. When she had the chance to do it, she didn't. Why is that? See, this is the thing I don't like. I don't like the fact that people pick and choose who to target. It's not fair to yep. just target one specific group of people, but turn around and protect others.
Here you have Gail targeting yeah. Kobe and Oprah targeting Russell Simmons and Michael Jackson, but they're Jackson. over here protecting yep. people like Harvey Weinstein and John of God. If you don't know, John of God is a self-proclaimed spiritual healer and Oprah was close to this guy and she gave him a platform on her channel, but he has been abusing, raping and trafficking women and young girls women. for years. And you don't hear Oprah or Gail talk about this. That's the issue that I have with them. They protect certain people, but target others. It's hypocritical and it shows that they have an agenda. Anyway, let me get yep. back on topic. There was just a lot going through my mind during that interview that Gail did with Lisa. And the interview did leave a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths as well. And I did see a lot of celebrities drag Gail and they also called out Oprah. <laughs> Gail and f Oprah. Y'all are some self hating pieces of sh. If I have never seen a coon more fing coonier than goddamn Kale, I mean Kale and 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 Okra, I'm over y'all. I'm over y'all. I don't give a f how rich you are, how much you fing accomplish. You're tearing down the legacies of so many phenomenal, beautiful black men, and I don't fing have time for it. Gail King, why the f would you ask some shit like that? Right. I don't give a fuck who friend it is. I don't give a fuck she can uh, Obama. Uh oh. Why the fuck would you do something like that? Why would you do that to your people? People. You know what people yeah. going through, right? Why would you ask some fucking question like that? Trying to turn in somebody's image. You do that to your own black people. You say it. I'm finna fire your ass up. You say it, bro. People be talking, black people need to stop f***ing trying to hurt black people for success. That's yeah. all the reason you ask that f***ing shit for, to get your f***ing numbers up. Gail King. Out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. Snoop what do you gain thing? from that? Yeah. I swear to God, we the worst. We the fucking worst. We expect more from you, Gail. Don't you hang out with Oprah? Why y'all attacking us? We your people. You ain't coming after fucking Harvey Weinstein asking them dumb ass questions. I get sick of y'all. I want to call you one. Is it okay if I call her one? Funky dog head bitch. How dare you try to tarnish my motherfucking homeboy's what reputation, you know, punk motherfucker. Respect the family and back off, bitch, before we come get you. Now, as you can see from those clips, people were really, Ooh. really upset. And I don't approve of the name calling, but I understand why people were upset. All of this backlash upset. did prompt Gail to release a statement, and this is what she said. Upset. I've been up reading the comments about the interview I did with Lisa Leslie about Kobe Bryant. And I know that if I had only seen the clip that you saw, I'd be extremely angry with me too. I am mortified, I'm embarrassed, and I am very angry. Uh, unbeknownst to me, my network put up a clip from a very wide-ranging interview. Um, totally taken out of context and when you see it that way it's very jarring it's jarring to me i didn't even know anything about it i started getting calls what the hell are you doing why did you say this what is happening i did not know what people are talking about so i've been told or i've been advised to say nothing just let it go people will drag you people will troll you it'll be over in a couple of days but that's not good enough for me because i really want people to understand what happened here and, and how I'm feeling about it. I reached out to Lisa because I know that she's a longtime friend of Kobe's to talk about his legacy and their friendship. We had a really wide ranging interview, talked about many things, his career, his passion, his sense of humor, the way he was mentoring other people, how he was starting his next chapter. It was wide ranging. And yes, we talked about that court case because that court case has also come up. And I wanted to get Lisa's take on it as a friend who knew him well, what she thought, where that should stand. And I thought she... 
But the court case has never came up until you brought it up. So how did it come up then? Like, I'm not understanding what, what, what you're saying in this video. Like, is it supposed to be an apology? Because I don't think it's nothing that you really can say that's going to help erase what you've already put into the atmosphere. Like, hey. Like, I don't think it's nothing you can say that's really going to help fix what you already put in the atmosphere. You've already put this negative taste in people's mouths about this man who can't even defend himself. Like, bruh. It was very powerful when she looked me in the eye as a member of the media to say it's time for the media to leave it alone and to back off. During the course of the interview, I asked follow-up questions because I wanted to make sure that her position and perspective were very clear. And at the end, when she said it's time for to leave it alone, I, as I said, I thought that was powerful. And I insisted, I insisted that that part be in the interview because I thought that it put a nice button on that part of the conversation. Um, when the interview aired, we got a great reaction to it. Um, I talked to Lisa last night. I believe that Lisa was okay with the interview. What? And I felt really good about the interview, really good about the interview. So for the network to take the most uh, salacious part when taken out of context and put it up online for people who didn't see the whole interview is very upsetting to me and that's something I'm going to have to deal with with them. Uh, and we will, there will be a very uh, intense discussion about that. I also want to say this, I have um, been with Kobe Bryant on many social occasions. Uh, he was very kind and very warm to me and I felt that we had a friendly relationship. I too am mourning his loss, just like everybody else. I still am shocked by it. It's tragic and untimely, and the last thing I would want to do is disparage him at this particular time. And I, I, I hope people understand that. And that's why I'm taking this time to speak to you directly. I've never done one of these before. I didn't even, I, I've never done one of these before, but this was so important to me that I felt I had to say something. I don't want to sit up on a set and read a prepared remark. Uh, I wanted you to hear exactly where I'm coming from and how I'm feeling. And to let everybody know that no disrespect intended. And now I've got to go to work. Uh, I thank you for listening. I have to admit that Gail's excuse was full of crap and it makes things worse that she actually knew Kobe and she was hanging around him but she still asked those questions. Right. I also blame the network as well because I know they were responsible for editing that video and feeding Gail questions. the questions. So it was unfair that Gail got all of the backlash. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. Gail was controlling the interview and she was purposely trying to lead it in a more negative direction. But Lisa, being the stand-up woman that she is, put a stop to that. She handled the interview with a lot of class and I appreciate her for that. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you yeah. so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, so my thoughts and opinions on this. Um, I really still have a bad taste on my fault, Gail King. And I don't know, I'm looking at Oprah a little sideways too. Now that I know some of the information that I know, I'm kind of looking at um, Oprah a little side eye too. Um, it's just crazy that nothing you ever do is ever going to be good enough. Like, honestly, that's really what it comes down to. This was a great positive man in our community that was giving younger kids hope and somebody to look up to. And they're pretty much yet again tearing down another black man who's not here to defend themselves, who's not here to speak up. So I really feel like it, it, it just had to stop somewhere. Somebody has to be the one to make the change. I am utterly, utterly disgusted. And I just cannot believe that it was a black woman to do this to a black man. It's just crazy. Um, Y'all, I'm going to wrap this video up. Let me know how you guys feel about all of this in the comment box down below. Also, if you find some tea you don't want to spill, add your girl on IG so I can keep it real. I love you, Subby. I will see you in my next video. Peace. Hey, me this bitch a hit.